What is up you guys? So this video is actually gonna be a two-parter as you can tell from the title So go ahead sit back relax I thought I just would add this in because it is gonna be kind of a boring video But showing you my whole little wall that I created stay tuned for the second part of this video because that's where it's gonna get juicy But it's not gonna take you that long. So quit looking at me like that <laughs> to make a very long story short I'm bored very bored very much. We're gonna go ahead and switch up my art wall Come with me. So I'm not even kidding you. I've lived in my apartment uh, for two years now. This wall has not changed. I've switched some things out right here just to make some videos. That's about it. And I'm ready to change it. We're gonna make a white frame wall. So since this video might be a little bit boring to y'all, I went ahead and grabbed my most boring candy, Twizzlers. Mm. Mm. They're there. They're in your mouth. They're fine. Let me see if I look skinnier when I shove in my shirt, my shorts. I got so fat. Everything in a frame, I'm gonna lay on the ground and see what kind of position I want. Let's go ahead and do it. So now that I have the wall all set up, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a really quick nap. Um, I'm gonna get comfy. I'm in my comfy sweater. Come on guys, let's go take a nap. Come on. Did I break my bed? the ghost of art past. I let <coughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Um <clears throat> I am here to tell you that you need to show your old spooky art bark. Art? Like art past? What? <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and show your old stuff. Um <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. First day on the job, so so sorry. Um, okay, damn, you didn't have to wake me up like. What we're not gonna do is catch anyways. an attitude with me. Period. Uh, okay, I'll do I'm it. I'm trying to help you. Fine with me. Bye. Whatever. Hmm, that's all you could have said. You could have said that five Whatever. minutes ago. So in this second part, we are going back in time, and I'm gonna be showing you my old spooky drawings. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some spooky stuff because I used to draw some weird stuff. As kids, as teenagers, we're a little angsty. We want to be a little edgy. I was one of them. Was my favorite. So sit back, grab a snack. Um, and let's go to it. Let's get to it. Let's go to it. Get to it. Let's get to it. So first thing we must do is we must look for some spooky drawings. If I might say so myself, uh, I have a lot of crap. I've held on to so many drawings. Bear with me while I try and find something spooky. So this is my closet. So this is pretty much everything I've had stacked up from the last, like, I don't know, 10, 15 years. Um, so I got like tons of sketchbooks, tons of drawings in here. We got some canvases. We got a whole bunch of booklets filled with drawings. It's gonna take me a while. Like, I'm gonna go through them real quick and I'm gonna pick out my top 10 uh, creepy drawings and I'll see y'all soon.
So I think I got my 10 here. Let's go ahead and go into the other room because I'm claustrophobic. I'll clean this later. Hello. Okay, so I have everything picked out. It is time. Ooh, y'all too high. Okay, let's go ahead and start from the beginning. So this is gonna be in order from the oldest to the newest. Actually, I wanna say one more disclaimer. Um, I was very cringe. I was very angsty. I was very, how you say, um, I wanted to get a reaction and I wanted to seem deep and, and mysterious. So please don't judge me. This is not how I am now. It's so funny to look back on this and say, wow, I was going through some stuff. So let's go ahead and begin with this very strange, very, um, very much um, Satan. <laughs> I actually do remember drawing this. This is, I have it dated. This was probably October of 2011, but I have just the year on here. I wanted to get every little demon Satan thing I could on this clearly. Um, I think that I did the face really well for, I was probably around 13 years old when I did this. If I was to rate this, one out of 10 for its spookiness. I'd give it a strong six, <laughs> six out of 10. So this next one was around October of 2012. I'm actually still proud of. I'm actually really still proud of this one. This is my favorite Halloween movie monsters. Um, so as you can see, if you're a horror movie fan, you can see that we have The Exorcist. We have Freddy Cougar from Nightmare on Elm Street, Michael Myers from Halloween. So I was, like I said, I was really, really proud of this. One thing that I will say about this is I did not trace anything. I didn't even start any of these drawings with pencil. All of these were with pen. This would, I would have been around 14. Still very proud, um, especially The Exorcist. That's the first drawing I did out of the bunch. If I was to rate this one out of 10 for its spookiness, it'd probably be a good like eight and a half eight and a half for spookiness. So this next one is not dated, but I do believe it's from 2012 or 2013. These are the years where I was really into The Walking Dead and I wanted to create something with The Walking Dead. I do remember trying really hard on it. I did want to finish it and make buildings in the background, but I never got to it. Like I said, I was really into The Walking Dead. It was one of my favorite shows at the time. I stopped watching it because girl, it got so hectic so quick. If I was to rate this one, one out of 10 for spookiness, give it a seven and a half. This one was horrible to work on. I hated it, but it's spooky. So here we have one of my first paintings actually. I think this was maybe like my third ever painting. You might recognize the face in the middle. If you've seen the uh, movie Psycho, it's an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Love this movie so much. The original idea on this one was to create the face. She was gonna be bald and then have octopus tentacles coming out. I wish I would have kept the octopus tentacles, but I was getting so frustrated with it. I hated it. If I was to rate this a one out of 10, um, I would definitely rate it probably around a five. It's not that spooky. So trigger warning, if you are not a fan of clowns, here's this next one. So y'all, when I tell you I was obsessed with clowns from the age of like 10, I would collect little collectibles. I would draw them all the time. Y'all, I'm a fan of clowns. I've never been scared of them. So a little backstory on this. So me and a friend of mine uh, used to work at a haunted house. If you guys saw my last video, I kind of talked about that a little bit. And he was a clown and I was like this werewolf person and they did this awesome makeup on him one night and it looked amazing. I, got, I took a picture of it. They only did that makeup one night. So I'm so glad I got a picture of it and I ended up painting it because I liked the rendition of the face so much. If I was to rate this spookiness one out of 10, a four, I know it's not that spooky. It's not that spooky. So this next one's actually a little near dear to my heart because it is one of my first Instagram posts. It's this bubbly, pimply looking guy. He's one of my cherished drawings because it is one of my first posts of art on Instagram. And I have different like parts to it. Got a whole bunch of crap on his face, like boils and stuff. If I was to rate this a scale of one to 10 for spookiness, um, I'll probably give it like a seven because I don't like like bubbles um, on the face. So this next one was not intended to be a spooky painting at all, but it happened to be one and that's this little lady. Um, I wanted to make a blue kind of avatar skin looking uh, Mona Lisa, but like obviously in my little style. Ugh, gosh, she's so weird looking. It was probably painted around 2015. She's not my favorite. She's not my favorite. She's very creepy. Um, I used to have her hanging up in my room and then I look at her face at night. But yeah, if I was to rate this one out of 10 for spookiness, this one's a probably a solid like nine. She's not hanging in my room. This next one I painted in the same year around 2015. This one's just a regular looking zombie. Uh, there's really not much to say about this. Uh, I was in class and I had kind of like free reign in the classroom. So I said, 
Let's go ahead and paint something. I wanna paint a zombie, it's October. So I painted a zombie, he's not my favorite. There's really not much of a backstory on this guy, but he's kind of goofy looking. He kind of looks like a cartoon. So if I was to rate this one out of 10 for spookiness, this one would be like a six. He's not that spooky. He kind of looks like he might ask to bite you instead of just biting you because he's polite. You know what I mean? The next one is very near dear to my heart. I love her so much. This is called The Bride. This painting was so many ideas. Uh, there's probably multiple layers of acrylic paint on this canvas. I don't know. She's goofy looking. I like her. She has always been hanging up in my room. This was around 2015, but I scraped off the background to create this like veil on accident. I think she's really pretty. So I call her the bride. I think she's gorgeous. Definitely creepy. Um, I would give her like a nine out of 10, but like a beautiful nine out of 10. You know what I mean? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know when my shop opens and there might be some prints of her. Okay, so. This next one's gonna be a little weird. Do not scream. I don't know what I was going through, but I was going through something. This is my twin. Yes. So you're probably wondering, what is the backstory on this guy? Um, why did you make him? What is up? Like, are you crazy? Yes, I'm crazy. Let me finish my story. Anyways. In 2014, I had just transferred over to another like school and I really wanted to make like a point. Around the time it was spirit week, there was a twin day and I didn't have any friends. I had no friends to do twin day with. Um, I really didn't talk to anybody at the time. It was actually really sad. Uh, I was a sophomore in high school. So I thought it would be a really cute idea. I was really into like special effects makeup and all that crap. So I'm like, why not make a twin? So this face you're looking at right here is pure gelatin. So it's pretty much the same thing that Jello is made out of, but if you warm it up long enough, it'll turn harder. So this has been like, y'all, when you touch it, it feels like actual skin. It's like really cold skin. I covered it in latex and painted it. It's so creepy. Oh my gosh. Definitely still my baby. If you saw my Coraline doll, he's my other baby, but this is my OG baby. People really didn't care in high school. I thought it was the most ingenious thing ever. And no one really cared, no one really looked twice. They would kind of like glare at me like, what the hell? But you know what? I tried to make friends and clearly this was not the right way to do it. I can't believe this has lasted this long. Like I said, I made this around 2014. It's been six years. I brought this to school for twin day my sophomore year. And then on my senior year, I also brought it for twin day. The original clothes was actually baby clothes. <laughs> I made this thing and I punctured it through his head so I could wear it on my lanyard. He was dangling like this at school. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's iconic. I'm not gonna lie. He's been locked up in my trunk for like two years. I really have not brought him out. If I was to put him on a scale of one to 10 for creepiness and spookiness, he would definitely be a 10. So thank you so much for going through that wild ride with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. We are always getting better as artists. So keep on doing your craft. Keep on dabbling in different things because you will get better nonetheless. I hold on to these drawings because it reminds me of time in my life and it brings me joy. So I don't like to look at these drawings a lot because I want to be surprised every time I look at these. So I haven't seen some of these in quite a long time. I also have so much more art that I would wanna show you. If you guys are interested in maybe seeing more, please let me know down below. So let me know what your favorite spooky drawing, painting, and maybe even my twin. Anyways, thank you so much for staying tuned. If you guys have any questions, concerns, let me know down below. If you guys have any candy suggestions, please let me know. I got a sweet tooth, you know I do. I post every Tuesday, so make sure you ring that bell so you know when I post. And let me ask, are you guys ready for spooky season? Because I have a lot up my sleeve. I do have one more thing to say. I do have a PO box now. So if you guys wanna send me letters or little doodles, feel free to. I love opening little letters. I have not opened a letter in so long that wasn't a bill. I'll have my PO box in the description. 